I will, would like to thank you to Diana, Selena, Federico and all the people from BTS this uh, invitation because for me it's a nice opportunity to share with colleagues uh, a little bit of information, clinical information about how we use uh, gauge analysis for decision making in, in Spain. Since 2007, uh, I was working in uh, Niño Jesus Pediatric Hospital with uh, CP children. And in this time, we share uh, with orthopedic surgeons, uh, rehab doctors, neurologists, neurosurgeons, and all the people involved in therapy, physical therapists, occupational therapists, and neuropsychologists, and all the people involved, the parents, and whatever. We share a lot of information, a lot of biomechanical information. In the very beginning, uh, we miss a lot of data. And in the very beginning, we have a lot of pitfalls. So let me talk about uh, this lecture uh, like a film. Uh, so the, the company is Italian. So I take the good, the bad, and the ugly uh, for, uh, for the title of this lecture. I know I am the good. Maybe uh, in the past uh, I met with the bad, and I hope I never be the ugly. So uh, now it's time for starting. Uh, the film starts with the ugly, and I'm going to start with the ugly. Let me introduce uh, the data of the prevalence of obesity in CP children in the States. This data is from 2007, the same year I started working in uh, Niño Jesus uh, Pediatric Hospital. As you can see in the slide, there is an increase of uh, obesity in CP children. It's something that we're, if we look at the, at the patients now, we see these numbers in our population. So for me, it's something uh, critical to look at the patient as a whole picture. Never forget the details. And this is the ugly. This, if you forget the details, you have problems. Uh, Ruben is the first patient I would like to introduce. Ruben come to our gate lab with two motor disorders. The first one is obesity. The second one is cerebral palsy. We look into detail at the kinematics, kinetics, and all the clinical examination, but we didn't take care of the obesity. Let me show you why we uh, start uh, doing uh, therapy with uh, Ruben. I hope all the videos work. We miss 25%. Uh, so you have a lot of functional impairments, and you have a lot of problems, and you need to uh, do something with uh, Ruben. Because he, if you allow to Ruben growing with this orthopedic uh, uh, or this liver arm dysfunctions, he's going to go to crouch, and he's going to miss the gait. Uh, that's why our sergeants uh, tell us that why won't, why don't you uh, don't why don't we do uh, uh, orthopedic surgery? Single level, multi level surgery was performed in 2007. They do uh, knee extension osteotomies for uh, uh, knee flexion contractors. They perform a little bit of T rotation osteotomies, adding to the extensor osteotomies of the femur. Uh, at the distal uh, part, they do uh, intrapelvic psoas lengthening. And for the distal part uh, and, uh, and uh, talonavicular arthrodesis and uh, derotation osteotomies were performed. The main problem is that our patient has no rehab process before the, the surgery. And this is the problem. This is the main problem. We do the surgery with the um, using kinematics and kinetics, but we have no rehab. And this is the ugly, the ugly situation because when you check the results 12 months before the surgery, you have poor, really poor results. An intensive uh, training, uh, intensive strengthening program uh, for 20 weeks uh, based in, uh, in muscle strengthening, something specific with whole body vibration, bicycle, more than two hours every day, five days a week, and we add it to the conventional program of physical therapy and a, re a gait re-education uh, program, 30 minutes every, every uh, five days a week. 
we have all the re uh, we we change the, the the results. We change how Ruben works, but our results are not good. Are not pretty good because we miss the 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 time for the, or from people from Star Wars. And the only way for their uh, orthosis or something like this, because this is the next uh, thing we add to 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 the patient. 